Welcome back to Data Unboxing. Netgear has released different versions of its Orbi brands, its regular Orbi lineup, and its Pro models. And today we're going to review its latest Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 Mini AX1800 model, which is currently the cheapest Netgear Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 mesh model in the market, with priced at $199. So in this review, we will do a Wi-Fi speed, coverage, and performance test, and see how Orbi Pro Mini compares against the existing Wi-Fi 6 mesh systems. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the review. Also, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. First, do a quick unboxing. The mesh unit comes with quick start guides, Wi-Fi 6 mesh units, power adapters, wall mounts, and Ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. The mesh unit is powered by a quad-core CPU running at 1.5 GHz, 512 MB RAM, 256 MB flash, dual-band Wi-Fi 6, Beam Forming Plus, OFDMA, 2x2 MU-MMO, WPA3, supports Ethernet backhaul and more. In the ports option, the main unit has 2.5G WAN port, 3 1GB LAN ports, and satellite unit has 4 1GB LAN ports, sync button, and a reset button. Let's talk about design and features. The design has good ventilation on the top and bottom to keep the hardware temperature under control. The overall body dimensions are small, measuring 5.8 by 2.7 by 7.4 inch tall. The mesh unit has a nice design and overall solid construction. It has two internal antennas and you cannot remove them. The two unit mesh system is configured for maximum performance and coverage up to 4000 square feet and 40 devices. And you can add up to four additional satellites and each satellite can provide up to 2000 square feet. The mesh system can provide a total networking speed of about 1800 megabits per second and following is a breakdown. The 2.4G can deliver up to 600 megabits per second and 5G band can deliver up to 1200 megabits per second. And those max speeds are only possible with right client hardware only. So your speeds will vary. Also Netgear offer five year hardware warranty and one year inside sub with the unit. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So we place the main mesh router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it and it is in the lowest part of the house. And we place the second mesh unit on the main floor of the house and complete the mesh setup. For this test, we're using Intel AX210 Wi-Fi 6E card installed in our laptop. And we're also using Ethernet wired MacBook Pro as an iPerf 3 server. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. I will be testing Wi-Fi connection to different corners and floors of the house to see how well the Wi-Fi 6 mesh system performs in terms of Wi-Fi speed and coverage. In this test, we will use iPerf 3 server with 5 streams to measure the maximum bandwidth. So if you're not familiar with the iPerf 3, it is a tool to measure maximum bandwidth on the wireless or wired networks. So we also created separate SSID for both 2.4G and 5G bands, so we can measure performance for both wireless bands. But you can leave it to auto and create a single SSID as a default setup. We also have other Wi-Fi signals to create a real-world scenario where you have other Wi-Fi signals causing interference. So let's get started. Now for the first Wi-Fi speed test, I've placed the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 e card installed right next to the main router. And as you can see, we are connected with speed up to 1.2 gigabits per second using 5G and confirming the 80 megahertz channel is working correctly. Then using iPerf 3 5 stream test, we were able to get max speed up to 685 megabits per second network bandwidth speed. Then using 2.4G band at the same location with iPerf 3, we were able to achieve 144 megabits per second network bandwidth speed. Now for the second test, we are standing 30 feet away from the main mesh router in the basement with a couple of walls between Wi-Fi router and the laptop. We have good Wi-Fi signals and solid connection. And using iPerf 3 5 stream with 2.4G band, we were able to get max speed up to 75 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. And using 5G, we were able to achieve 96 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a third Wi-Fi speed and connection test. Here we are standing right next to a second mesh unit with excellent Wi-Fi signals and solid connection. Using iPerf 3 5 stream test with 2.4G band, we were able to get max speed up to 95 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. And using 5G at the same location, we were able to achieve 97 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. Now let's just move to the far side of the house and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 main router with the floor and few wall between the router and laptop and 30 feet from the second mesh satellite. This is the toughest spot in the house as we have seen in the previous test and first thing we have noticed is that we are connected with one of the best Wi-Fi signal strength we have ever seen from our previous test. Here using iPerf 3 5 stream test with 2.4G, we were able to get max speed up to 88 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. And at the same location using 5G, we were able to achieve 95 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed which is one of the best scores we have ever recorded at this part of the house. Now let's move to the far right side of the house and close to 30 feet from the main Wi-Fi router with the floor and few wall between the router and the laptop and 45 feet from the satellite unit. Here now we have still excellent Wi-Fi signals and using iPerf 3 5 stream test with 2.4G, we were able to achieve 91 megabits per second bandwidth speed and using 5G at the same location, we were able to achieve 94 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. For the next test, we move to the second floor of the house 
Here we have two floors and few wall between the main mesh router and one floor and few wall between the Wi-Fi 6 mesh satellite. Again we have solid Wi-Fi connection and using RPROF3 5 stream test with 2.4G we were able to achieve 92 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed and using 5G at the same location we were able to achieve 95 megabits per second wireless bandwidth speed. For the final test we are going to do a backhaul wireless speed test. For this test we connected laptop with satellite using ethernet and ran iPOF3 5 stream test and we were able to achieve 96 megabits per second wireless backhaul bandwidth speed. Now let's talk about the setup. The Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 mini setup was an easy 3 step process. All you have to do is download the Orbi app to your Android or iOS device, connect your router to your modem or if you have files with the ethernet connection you can connect the router's WAN port directly to the ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup or you can set up using a web browser. So we use the web setup using orbilogon.com to see the advanced features. So during our initial setup Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 mini updated its firmware and allowed us to set up its satellite. So at the main screen you will be using the basic settings so you can switch to advanced settings if you want. In the basic settings you will be presented with some tiles like internet options, attached devices, wireless information and on the left column you will see attached devices, speed test and add Orbi Pro satellite option. In the advanced settings you will be presented with router information, internet port options, wireless settings and on the left column you will have a setup wizard to initiate the router setup. Then moving on to setup options, here you can find internet setup options, wireless setup options to configure multiple wireless SSID and guest portal. You can also set up your VLAN profile here. You can also set up security options like WPA3, WPA2 or more. You can also enable bandwidth control per SSID if you want. These are the options that make Orbi Pro different from a regular Orbi wireless devices. For our test we enable wireless 2 with separate SSID for 2.5G and 5G band as mentioned during our performance test. Orbi allows you to set up all these wireless SSIDs with different pre-configured VLAN profiles. Moving on, we have a WAN setup followed by the LAN setup followed by the device names. Then we have a security options, here you can do a MAC ACLs, access controls, block sites, block services, schedule days to block or define start and end block time. We also have an email alert options as well. Then continue down the left column we have admin settings with the router status, logs, attached devices, backup settings, set password, NTP settings, firmware update option and support settings. Under advanced setup again we have a wireless settings, here you can set regional, transmit power, backhaul, password, enable or disable MU-MIMO and fast roaming and more. Then we have a router slash AP mode followed by the port forwarding, dynamic DNS, VPN services, static routes, remote management, UPnP, IPv6, traffic meter, VLAN, bridge settings. Here you can define a lot of advanced switch settings, define VLAN IDs and lot more and a sync button settings. But you don't have to set up all these settings if you're not a power user. You can leave everything to default. Let's do the final summary. Overall Netgear Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 mini mesh system performed mixed in this review. The mesh system's overall performance was okay but not great and priced at $199 at the time of this review, this is the cheapest Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 mesh system in the market. The Wi-Fi 6 mesh unit produced good Wi-Fi coverage but with limited Wi-Fi bandwidth speeds compared to our previous Wi-Fi 6 mesh unit reviews. The Netgear Orbi Pro series is designed towards a medium or small businesses and the mesh system really shines when it comes to security features and its ability to offer four different SSIDs, integrated Netgear Plus switch with VLAN, QoS and an inside app for secure cloud and local management. But I hope the future firmware updates would be able to address the limited wireless bandwidth problem as well. Let me know what you guys think of the review in the comments below. If you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.